I'm Katherine Housley. Hello, I'm Katherine Housley, and you are watching Fixing the Human Machine, the show that strives to bring you new ways to look at your health. And today, we are talking about the state of the earth. Acupuncture. What the heck is happened to sex? All right, let's make cookies. Just dump that one cup of sweet rice flour in with the oats, and like with all the other things, toss it in the old blender. Oh, <laughs> Isabel, plug in the blender. I shall plug in the blender. I would like to talk about something that we mentioned briefly in our last show, and that is the effect of the media on our eating habits. Moms, having a hard time getting those finicky kids to eat along with the rest of the family? Try this new Twinkie Helper from Betty Crackpot. Just add a box of Twinkies and stir. Your body is giving you the messages that you need. Yes, you're fat, you're fat, you're, you're fat, fat, you're, you're fat. fat. Honey, honey, do I look fat? I'd like to say that while some of the food trends that we see on TV are merely ridiculous, some of them are downright dangerous. Where's my jacket? Oh, it's right here. Can you get it for me, honey? Sure, here you go. Edith! We check for many more things in the pulse. Yes, now I heard that you could actually tell if a woman was pregnant That's by correct. the pulse. That's correct. Not only I can tell whether she's pregnant, I can also tell what possibly could be the sex of the baby. Yes, as a matter of fact, a friend of mine who was seeing you while she was pregnant, you predicted she would have a boy, and so she did. I'd so like to next. take a look at your tongue right Ooh, now. Ooh, my tongue. Ooh. I <laughs> <laughs> we have those healing powers, they just have to be induced and corrected and, and put on the right track, and that's my job. Oh. As the patients are committed and believe in what they do, um, I believe you can treat and cure almost anything. Don't go out there, that's you're right. not going to make it back a lot. What is this? That's the shreds of what was once a great relationship. I see. The tattered remains of a love that's been burned away by hurt and vindication. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, taste it. I'm going to express my anger at you two different ways, Chris. Okay. Okay. You stupid idiot. How could you have done that? It was so stupid you mortified me at that party. Okay. Example one. So Edith. Doesn't what? Lighten up. Lighten up. Like, I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you and you tell me what? Eat it. What? I love you. You sure know how to kill a good argument. <laughs> were a metaphorical representation of nuclear waste and the environmental problems that we're having on this earth, here is a metaphorical representation of what we would be doing about it. Dropping it off on somebody else's doorstep. Where is their concern about the long-range effects of biotechnology on our environment? Well, clearly th there isn't. We dropped depleted uranium and they had, all s they had some strange cancer cases and this and that. But of course there's no proven link. No proven link, yes. No. Absolutely, we've got to prove this stuff before we can do anything at all about well, it. It's a great thing about democracy because like 60 years from now we can talk about this as freely as we'd like. <laughs> And for all the good it'll do us. We'll know everything. You know, it's true. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. If we've got a small piece of the picture and we don't have the big picture, sometimes we can take it in an extreme direction and end up hurting ourselves instead of helping ourselves. So let's watch out for that, shall we?